Hey guys, so Krista and I are on our way to get our hair done. Uh, I don't know if you can tell, but I have like super blonde roots because I'm naturally a blonde, which kind of makes me look like I have no hair or I'm balding. And Krista needs to get highlights. So that really weird. Highlights and a cut. Hey guys, so we're done at the hairdressers. It's my new do. She curled it. It's a problem though, when you get your hair done like this and then you like curl it nicely, you never can get it to do that yourself. So you just have to go to the hairdressers. It's like my one nice day of hair. And Krista also got hers done. But it looks pretty much the same because she just got her highlights touched up and a tiny trim. So we're looking at the baby clothes because Alicia wants to get a present for a friend. And the girls have way cuter clothes than the boys have, as usual. I don't know. I always like the boy clothes because I, I have a girls, baby. Isn't it? Yeah. If I have a baby, oh, I want a boy. Oh, gee. It's the freaking cutest thing I've ever seen. Yeah. I think it's girls, isn't it? Yeah. Maybe it's multi sex, but oh my god, I want one. Let's fit over my one of my boobs. I have to get one for the other one. One for each. My two boob jacket. Have cute, like little jeans and jackets and sweaters. Yeah, there's like and one like, rack of boy stuff and like 10 billion racks of girl stuff. So that's the final outfit Alicia picked. I think it's cute with the little hat. It's for the fall when he's older. Mm -hmm. And there she is looking at more makeup, even though she has so much makeup. But I don't really care because I just steal it all. Uh -huh. So I guess it benefits me. I get makeup without paint. So I got my treat of the day. Another grande iced shaken passion tea without sweetener or anything. So I'm, like I said yesterday, zero calories. Pretty yummy. Got on the scale this morning to weigh myself again and I actually gained weight since yesterday. Which is nice. Not since most people are supposed to be losing 20 and I'm gaining weight. But whatever, there's a phone call apparently from the doctor's office, or there was a phone call and I have to call them when I get back. I have this weird feeling that they're just gonna like extend the surgery date for some reason. Like, I'm not sure why, but I just have that feeling. So I hope not, because I would be pretty crappy to go through another week of just eating like protein shakes and vegetables. So I am not going to make my living, living? I'm not gonna make my living, I'm not gonna make my living as a fortune teller because I got home and I made that phone call and it was just like the pharmacy figuring out where they can send my um, liquid codeine. I'll be going to, here, I'll tell you a little story. It's not really a story, but okay, so Arnold, who you met in yesterday's video, I actually like to call him Alfredo. Why did I like to call him Alfredo? Because you're an idiot. No, but how did it all start? Because you didn't like the name Arnold. Oh, I didn't like that. Sorry, exactly. Arnold. <laughs> I didn't like the name. Well, because when I think of Arnold, I think of Arnold Schwarzenegger. And to me, he looked kind of, well, he's Spanish, but he looked italian -y to me. So I started calling him Alfredo, and now I just, that's what I call him. Except to his face, even though he knows I call him that. He knows, right? Mm -hmm. Anyway, so we might, or she might, or we might both be going to see Alfredo play soccer this evening. So Kristen and I are getting ready to go to... Let me close that, it's better. Arnold's soccer game and Jillian, our sister, came up with the best sign, but Krista won't do it. It said, no, have a number. <laughs> get a number, so let's say he's number 12. He's number 12 on the field, but he's number one in her heart. Actually, I'm number one in her heart. He's ever. number two in her heart. I don't like cheesy stuff. She does not enjoy cheesy stuff, people. Anyway, I'm gonna try to show my makeup, but I'm not sure it's gonna work. Because, oh my god, I filmed before and I had like no acne on my chin and it made it look like I had tons of acne. Anyway, I see this new liner here, the green liner. That's from uh, Makeup Forever. And that's their aqua liner in number four. I'm loving it. Very nice. That stuff does not bud. Whose makeup do you use every day? Mine and yours. Most of mine. What are you going to do when you move home? Really You're never gonna move home. We're gonna. Krista has decided that, that she fun? wants to. Yeah. Mm. It does. It matches your shirt. Krista has decided that she wants to move to Toronto with her sissy. Okay. We're best of friends, aren't we? Do you love me? 
just trying to piss me off. <laughs> am I your favorite sister? People, we all know I am. People think I'm a bitch, but it's just the way that you ask me questions. <laughs> Oh, I have one more petite. Oh, oh, I was doing my mirror face for you. Oh, damn it. <laughs> Just you get pretend. It? But see, then we gotta catch him when she's not trying. Let's see. I'm loving this hair. Try the mirror. Well, don't try the mirror face. Just, like, get ready. <laughs> ready. Put on a necklace or something. I don't know if that's too, something. like, because this is very moo moo. I don't know if this is too, like, too moo moo. Whatever. This is what Krista just said to me. I said she looks like a proud mama, like she's here as a soccer mom of some kid. Oh god, I'm too old for this. Players on the team, so we just made it up ourselves. So that's Brace, because he has a new brace on. There's Shinny, because she's got a really big knee shin pad to it, they're called on. That's Bean, because he's really skinny, like Bean Pole. That's Speedy, because he goes really fast. team's effort in percentage. Did you give 100%, 110%, <laughs> 150? We, maybe like 85, 90. We tried pretty hard. Any final comments? Anything final. you'd like the viewers to know about your performance or your team? Um, with Krista here, I feel the pressure. <laughs> like I want to score and it's not going to happen. So. <laughs> I guess I'm too much pressure. You are. Right? Or bad luck. <laughs> So Chris and I are so good at these interviews, actually she was interviewing, but I just looked professional, that this woman, kind of an annoying woman that was there, she thought that we were professional interviewers for the paper. <laughs> and that I had to sadden by tell, sadden? What? <laughs> I don't know, I had to disappoint her by saying, oh, we just have like a jokey YouTube channel, like. No, so I just have to listen to her tell me about how Arnold's team was too competitive because they're indoor soccer, and indoor soccer isn't supposed to be as competitive as outdoor soccer, according to this woman. But like I said to Krista, I should have just been like, none of them are going to be making it to the Olympics anytime soon, so it doesn't really matter. So I am rocking my raccoon eyes that I have every night because they get really, really itchy eyes, and so Krista says I always end up looking like a raccoon. Uh, we just finished editing yesterday's video, and we are oh, heading edited. to bed. Krista edited it. She edited her first video. Oh, this is so hot. We were headed to bed, uh, so we're just going to say goodnight. So good night. Separate beds. That doesn't seem weird. <laughs> we do not sleep in the same bed. <laughs> Even though in the last video and tonight, we're both in like she's bed. She's in my room. Cause my just room... for TV. <laughs> anyway... We are headed to separate beds, so I thought I would say good night and see if Krista Gilby has anything to say. What do you have to say for yourself? Au revoir. Let's do that with more oomph. Au revoir. <laughs>